Today on Train for Life, we're going to get ready to run. Hey, I'm Jeff McDaniel, and not everybody is in love with running, but we should all have the ability to run when needed. If you can't run right now, I'm going to show you step one into getting there, and if you can already, well, I'm going to show you how to do it better and do it pain-free. Now, one of the concepts I want you to get is that running is an impact sport. We don't usually think about it in those terms, but if your ankles, knees, and hips are not ready to, quote, hit the ground, the only thing you're going to be running towards is injury. And by the way, running has a 25% injury rate. That's higher than most sport. That means one out of four people that take up running this year will have some form of injury. We're talking things like plantar fasciitis, knee tendonitis, AKA runner's knee, and low back and hip pain and discomfort all centered around running. But fear not, I'm gonna show you how to prep the body for running and really bulletproof those legs. Now here's a pre-test to see if your body is actually ready to run. Take out your smartphone. These are usually about six inches, which is perfect for the simple yet very informative test of your ankle mobility. You're gonna take the phone, put it against the wall, or in my case, a nice brick pillar, and then put your foot at the front of the phone and then drive the knee to the wall. I should be able to drive all the way to the wall without the heel coming off the ground. If I can't pass that test, that's a major stop sign for running. Why? Because you're missing range of motion and you have some serious calf ankle mobility stiffness. And stiffness equals weakness. Now, it doesn't mean that you can't run right now, but it does mean you're running on a stiff, weak foundation. And that's a foot, ankle, knee issue waiting to happen down the road. So, step one, I want you to set a goal of passing this test. And here's your plan for the next three days. I want you to do a calf ankle mobility stretch daily and ideally twice a day. Access any wall, and I actually prefer like a door frame for this, but any wall will do. And I want you to elevate the ball of the foot as high up as you can. You're gonna do two minutes per ankle. First minute, I want you to go hip to the wall, which is right here. Drive that hip in there. You're gonna feel this more in your upper calf, and I can work forward backwards i can work laterally side to side i can add some rotation and then the second minute i want you to back up and then go knee to the wall which is going to get more of your lower calf and achilles tendon one you're going to do two minutes per ankle one minute hip to wall one minute knee to wall and then after three days come back and retest if you can pass, great, we'll move on to the next step. If you can't, I want you to repeat that for the next three days and keep doing it until you can pass that test. Now in the upcoming segments, I'm gonna show you part two of this, which is gonna involve strengthening the ankle. But I want you to keep this principle in mind. We have to lengthen before we strengthen. Now you may not be able to run right now, but you were made to run. God created the human body, he designed it to run, and that means he made it for you. We were designed for health, for vitality, and for movement. And God cares about all of you. That means both your spirit and body. Now you've already got one homework assignment, and that is to do your calf stretches on the daily, but I'm gonna give you a second, and that is to crack open your Bible. If you don't have one of these, download the app onto your phone, and I want you to go to the book of 1 Corinthians. That's the New Testament. Go to the Gospels, take a right, you'll come across the book of 1 Corinthians, find chapter 9, go to verse 24, what does it say? Runners run the race. And by the way, they run their race, and they run to win the prize. You need to run your race so that you may obtain the prize. And the prize is not just excellence in running. When we talk about train for life, we're talking both the physical and the spiritual life. That's what this is all about. I want you to keep showing up. God has incredible plans for you, and I'm excited to be a part of your journey.